Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wealth in Christ Show, a show where we inspire the masses to become financially free without compromising their faith. I'm your host, Dami, and today we'll be having a conversation about interest rates. If you haven't heard, the Federal Reserve of the United States recently lowered interest rates by 0.5%. So basically what that means is that it's cheaper to borrow money now than before. And before we go on and I'll explain more about interest rates and how this can affect each and every one of our life, especially for, for us who are working towards becoming financial free, I just want to make this disclaimer that this is not financial advice um, at all. Um, this is my own opinion and you're free to do as you please with this opinion. And please do your research before taking any of my opinion and applying to your own financial case. When interest rates drop, there are a few benefits that you can take advantage of. One, if you're looking to buy a home, now may be a good time to buy a home because interest rates will drop, especially on mortgage. So you'll be paying a lower interest rates on your mortgage. Two, it will be cheaper to borrow to borrow money, such as for personal loan, auto loan, as well as business loan. It will be more affordable to make bigger and bigger purchases and to be used for investments. However, this also means that interest rates on saving accounts, CDs, and other low investment will drop, which will slow down the growth of savings. So if you're, if you're used to getting 5%, 4.5% on your savings, especially if you have your money in the high yield saving account, you can think, you can count those days. Those days are already numbered. You know, the days where banks were giving 4.5%, 5% back, 5% APY, and percentage yield on your money are numbered. Now that you understand how interest rates will affect your life now that they are being lower, here are a few things that you can consider. Of course, like I mentioned already, refinance your mortgage to get better rates, to lower your monthly payments, or to help you pay your mortgage faster. In addition to, it might be a great time to pay off your high interest debts like credit cards or personal loan. This may be a great time to refinance them at a lower rate in order to pay them off. Low interest rates can boost the stock market and present an opportunity to invest in growth oriented stocks. In addition, companies would take advantage of this time period, this period of interest rates dropping to borrow more money in order to push the different projects that they may not have been able to, you know, do when interest rates was much higher. So you should look out for that, you know, unless it's when a lot of companies come with a lot of new product and, you know, this as well, the new product can help boost their stock, their stock price. In addition, you know, real estate does become more attractive with lower interest rates, you know, because it's lower, it's the lower cost of financing. And basically, you know, it could mean that it's easier to buy a house, but at the same time, it could mean that it's easier to buy a house but at the same time let's not forget what happened not too too long ago when interest rates were very low or close to zero and how the cost of houses kept on rising it was almost like a bubble the price of houses were, were super high and people were buying above the accent price so we never know how interest rates can really truly affect so it's just important just to take note and just be mindful that this may be a great opportunity to buy a house in addition, you know, it's also now more important. It's also important to evaluate your savings strategy. Like how much do you are you going to really want to save? Being the fact you won't be getting four point five or five percent on your high yield saving account, this would be a great time to to reevaluate how much you'll be saving into your high yield saving account. You know, make sure that you have three to six months or a year of a spend save and whatever is extra. Being the fact you are not getting such high interest you know, returns back, this may be a time to invest in the stock market to continue to have your money grow while you're continuing to work, as you continue to work towards financial freedom. While low interest rate presents several opportunities to invest by, by assets, it also does, there are some negative impacts. One in particular that you're mindful of is basically inflation, inflation increasing. You know, due to the fact that the economy is, if the, due to the fact that it will be cheaper to borrow, you know, the worst thing that the worst thing that can happen or that what the Fed does not want to happen is basically inflation to create the economy to grow quickly. The whole point of, you know, increasing interest rate was to slow down the economy so it can grow at a normal rate. But if the cost of living 
you know, skyrockets as has it done in the past. And it's very hard for people to get the necessity to, to buy the, necess the necessity of life. We might as well we'll see interest rates go back up. You know, it would not be a surprise to see interest rates go back up. So as the Fed, you know, has reduced interest rate, and we'll see if they continue to induce interest rate. But that just all depends on how the economy reacts. And like I've mentioned um, before in our restate, you know, lower interest rates can result in price bubbles, such as in the house and the stock market, and investors may drop price too quickly, leaving to a bubble that can later burst and harm financial markets. That's because, you know, there's not proper proper value Proper risk management and proper value is not being assessed to this different asset. That's why we see in 2021, 20, like 2020, 2021, and partially 2022, people are buying houses at above the above average, but above accent prices. You know, houses that may have cost 400000 people are buying it for 600000 And this goes back to inflation. You know, the economy is, con is, is stirred back up too quickly. You know, we'll be in the same position that we just left not too long ago. So those are some things just to be mindful of. So the scripture that comes to mind that I want to leave us with is Proverbs 21, verse 5, which basically states, The plan of the diligence surely leads to abundance, but everyone who is hasty comes only to poverty. So this scripture is just to remind us that, you know, this, even though interest rates are low and borrowing becomes easier, we must be diligent. We must do uh, due diligence in terms of research before we buy an asset, whether it be stocks, whether it be real estate, and not get caught in FOMO, not get caught um, in the fear of missing out, and you know, throwing out the mathematics, you know, throwing out the research, just for the sake of one to build up. It's important to make sure what you're buying, what you're, you know, you're borrowing, you know, it makes sense for your financial situation. The asset class you're trying to buy, it makes sense. You know, just don't be buying it because you see everyone doing it. You know, like I mentioned earlier in 2020, going to 2021, a lot of people saw interest rates being very low. They saw it as a great opportunity to buy houses, but a lot of people end up buying houses that they truly can't afford. You know, so they was house rich, but cash poor due to the fact they was buying way over accent prices just to make sure that they got a house so they do, a lot of people do away their mathematics just in, just to make sure that they had a house so it's more important to make sure you do your math make sure the numbers line up the math, numbers add up for you before you make a purchase whether it's buying a stock whether it's buying a real estate you know have an exit plan like where are you on where's your exit plan when you buy this property where's your exit plan when you buy this stock What's your exit plan when you buy this asset? You know, what is your exit plan? These are things that you need to think of before you even buy such an asset. And just to recap, you know, one, if you do have a house currently, you know, or you have, you bought a car recently, you have a loan, or you have a, if you recently bought a house and you have a mortgage, you bought a car and you have a loan, or you have some loans, you know, this is a great time to look at your loan, see what interest rates are, you know, see uh, what you can do, whether it, it makes sense for you to refinance um, or not refinance in order to lower payments. You know, this is a great time to pay off any high interest step in order to save money over the long term. And it's also a great time to look at investment, you know, look at different access class and figure out how you know, whether it makes sense, whether it's buy into a company, whether it's venture capital, whether it's angel investing, you know, real estate, stocks, you know, crypto. There's so many different things you can get your hands involved in. But, you know, just make sure you do your due diligence. Make sure, you know, you're not falling, you know, you don't get to catch yourself basically in FOMO, you know, living a life out of FOMO. Like living your life out of form, basically the fear of missing out. Make sure you're doing your due diligence before you buy any of these asset class. And as well, just pray. Ask God to guide you in this financial journey. As always, I hope this blessed you guys. And I hope this episode gave you some insight on how to move in a financial journey in regards to interest rates being lowered down this past week. And as always, stay blessed. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Peace out.